if you want to be at the top, it is lonely. It is lonely. And there are things you have to pluck off. There are things you have to let go. And if it means you have to let go of some friends, uh, some acquaintances, then you have to. Because um, you have to get uncomfortable for you to be comfortable in the later stage. And for me, that's what I'm looking at. And, and I believe that when you start getting comfortable, those people can actually come back because people like comfort. So you have to take the, the sacrifice and the chances right now because no one is coming. And that's what I always tell everyone around me that no one is coming. Not even your family will come to rescue you when things get tough. Yes, they will listen, but they may not give you exactly what you need. So you have to think about yourself. So, and that's where the support system comes in. You need a support system. And the first support system is your family. If your partner is not on board with what you're doing, it's going to be very difficult. If your children are not understand that mommy now has to work, because you have to keep telling them, mommy now has to work, daddy has to work, uh, I have to go and do this, then you are going to find your priorities clashing. And at the end of the day, you will lose out on both areas. You will lose your family, and then you find that you're not performing at your job because the family unit informs how you're able to achieve on this side. As simple as that. And that's what I always tell leaders. For you to outperform yourself in your professional career, your family unit has to be intact. Because for any chaos that goes into your family will affect how you, how you become productive on the other side of the coin. So it's, it's all a balanced game. And I think this conversation for me, I'm also learning so much from it. It's, it's, it is showing me that there's so much to be done. Saying and speaking is one element, but putting in the work, you, no one is going to do it for you. Even if you hire a, a, a PA, even if you hire a team around you, they'll be asking you, so what do we do? So you, the person who has started up this idea, whether it is a, it is, it's a bakery, whether you want to bake, whether you want to do um, a retail shop, you have to think and work on your feet because the people that you're going to hire will be looking at your leadership. They'll be looking at your leadership. So if you're not knowledgeable enough to answer those questions, if you don't have the experience of how you can manage people, the conflict resolution, all those things will happen. But how prepared and how equipped are you to do that? And that's what you are saying that... Uh, you have no idea how Elon Musk is doing all these things and he's still achieving. CEOs or big business uh, men at the top don't actually do, do the dirty work. They don't. They hire experts who do the work and feed them with information. What they need is an act of decision making. Because all this information will come to your table. The question is how you make the decisions. Because that decision you make can break your brand or can elevate it. That's where good, good leadership comes in. Decision-making is a key element of a good leader. <laughs> or oh, anyone, even in the family unit, the decisions you make in your family will determine whether your children respect you or not. It will determine so many things. So all this work is done by so many other people that you hire as the experts who bring it to your table because their job is done when they bring it to you. Now you, your job is to see through and see, are these actually opportunities? Are these actually going to add value to my brand or to my business? Or are they going to bring it down? And if it's value, how much value? Now that's where the knowledge comes in, understanding the leaps of the economy, understanding that what is happening with a dollar rate or whichever money it is, understanding the business, the industry you're in, so that when those issues, when, you, when the time comes and you have to make the decision, you are making an informed decision so that it propels you to the next stage so that you can create an authority in your business around you, people around you, like he's a good decision maker. Whatever he touches turns into gold because that is your job. The second job of a leader or anyone who wants to be in that process is to have a vision. What is your vision for your brand? What's your vision for your family? What's the vision for what you want to achieve in 20 years from now? Those are two main jobs of a leader. Have a vision and make decisions. 
because everything else will be done for you and it will come to your table. But those two things will allow you make or propel your business to the next level. Now, I want to use the knowledge that I know around those things to build my brand. Right now, I will tell you my brand's at zero. I think it's at zero. I, um, yes, I could be known because of the work that I was doing in the, in the country and all that, yes. But as an Adele brand, it's at zero. So I'm going to start building afresh. So when you are building, you have not to rely on what you have, you know, the, the, the branches you set up before. You build as if you have nothing. You build as if you have nothing. And then that gives you the capacity to think. But if you build, you think you know it all. You'll fail tomorrow. Because you don't. Because you don't. So, and that's the, that's the journey that young people, even us who are here speaking to each other, we have to start thinking from that uh, perspective. Build strong roots so that when the, the, the stem comes up, it is strong enough to hold, you know, the roots are holding, that even if they cut the stem, the roots are still solid. They will sprout more afresh because the challenges are going to be there. They will cut us short. The finances, uh, so many things. You want to invest in yourself, but you don't have the finances because all these things cost money. <laughs> they do cost money and time. You want to do it, but you don't have the resources to do it. Then what? Creativity, innovation, so many things start coming and you start thinking. So it is that journey that makes everything exciting. The uncertainty of it makes it exciting. Gives you the motivation to wake up and go and sit on your desk and start your podcast because you don't know how where tomorrow it will be. But you will never know unless you start. So I am starting. You're starting. So we have to tell the audience as well to start. Because you will never know how productive whatever you're doing will be unless you start. If you keep saying, uh, I will fail, can I even do that? You're already telling yourself in your mind that you're not capable enough. But even then, you will never know the capacity that you have. You will never know the energy you have until you conquer that fear and get into the world and get it done. And so I'm conquering my fears now. I am conquering my fears. I'm conquering the perceptions that will come. I will try. I will die trying. I can tell you, I will die trying to build this brand. I will die trying. So, and, and that's a perception of a winner. 